Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. So in this video, we are going to discuss how you can sort horizontally in Excel and uh, Google Sheets. So uh, we usually when we sort, we sort by columns, right? So there may be some cases wherein you have to sort your table and your table is horizontally oriented like what I have here in Excel. And then later on, we'll also do this in uh, Google Sheets. Okay, we're in the same data, but how do we perform it in Google Sheets instead? So let's start with Excel. And for Excel, it actually has a built-in feature that can already sort based on the column or row. So first, you have to highlight the range of cells or the table that you have to sort. And then once you've highlighted them, you then go to the data tab. So under the data tab, you will see there that you have the sort button. So this is uh, what we need to click. And then with this, we will have the sort dialog box. So in the sort dialog box, we have the option to sort by a certain column and then sort by values. And then if it's A to Z or Z to A. Now, the thing is, you would notice that the default is column. So if you want to change the way that your Excel will sort in for a certain instance, then you have to select options. But before I do that, it seems that my table is not perfectly highlighted. So let me cancel this first. Okay. So I'll just double checking that. So sort, and then I have to uncheck this one. The My Data has headers so that it covers the entire table. So by unchecking it, then I make sure that everything is selected. So from here, I will then click on Options. And you will see that the orientation default is top to bottom. So that is why whenever we sort, Excel always sorts by column. So this time, we're going to sort from left to right instead. And this uh, simple button here will change the orientation of our data okay, to sort by okay, a certain direction. So from here, I'm going to sort according to row number three. Now you would notice that the option to indicate that my data headers is disabled. So meaning everything in my uh, data here will be sorted. So just to show you, if I'm going to sort it according to row three, according to smallest to largest, then and when I click OK, even the headers will be included because the row option doesn't support removing headers because call or data on the leftmost side is not really considered as a header. So we have to make sure that first we highlight only the data if you're planning to sort by rows. This is not like when you're going to sort by columns or in you would notice that you have the my data as headers enabled and clickable. So you can disable it. So for now, I will click uh, options and then I will again sort left to right. Again, remember this one only has the data itself, the leftmost column. Technically, the header of my row table is not highlighted. So click OK. So from here, I could then again click sort by, and then I would choose row three because that's my uh, uh, row that I want to sort the data okay, according to the employee ID. So sort by row three, and then click OK. So because of that, only the highlighted data will be sorted in Excel, and it is now sorted from left to right. Now, how do we perform something similar to Google Sheets? So let me open my Google Sheets with this very similar uh, data okay, that uh, I have here. So in Google Sheets, unfortunately, it doesn't have an option that allows us to sort okay, just like what we did in Excel. So if you highlight the data and then go to the data tab and then go to sort, you will notice that it's sort by column, okay? And even if you do the sort, uh, sort by range, then it's also column, okay? If you go to the advanced range sorting options, okay, this is where you see that you also have the same option like in Excel, wherein you can check or uncheck if your data has headers or not. 
And then you can also sort according to column. But never do we see anything that is all about sorting from left to right or sorting per row. It's always by column. So unfortunately, what we did in Excel is not something that we can perform exactly in Google Sheets. However, it's not really the end because there's still a way, but you will see that it's not as that's not similar as how Excel does it. So in this case, we are going to use the transpose function. The transpose function will change the orientation of our data okay, from uh, being horizontal and transform it to columnar. So you will see that we now have this, the same table and this one is, however, transposed okay, vertically. And take note that that table is actually uh, automatically will automatically update. Let's say I'm going to change the one here, miles, and you will see that the one for miles in the other table will also update. So I'm going to use that. Let me move that over here, transpose, and then I will highlight the data. Then okay. So now that I have a transposed version of my table, I will then use another function. So this function, we use sort. So sort, and then we're going to enclose that within the, uh, we're going to enclose the transpose formula that we did inside the sort function. So this will then sort the data, okay, according to um, the first column. So if I hit enter now, you will see that I have some slight problems here. Because again, the name and employee ID got included in my data. And at the same time, it only sorted based on the first column. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort this correctly based on the uh, second column and not the first column. So that means we have to arrange okay, our table. Okay, So we're going to dictate that it's going to be the second uh, column that we want to base the sorting from. And then after that, don't forget that it has to be in pair. So if I do it like this, you will get an error message. It's not applicable. And that is because after the range, which is the transpose, then all the next succeeding arguments should come in pairs. So what I'm going to do here is indicate that it's going to be the second row, comma, and I'm going to tell uh, Google Sheets that we're going to sort it in an ascending manner. So I'm going to put here true because I want to indicate that it is true that I want it to be ascending from lowest to highest. So if I hit enter, then you will see that the sorting is now based on the second column and it's from lowest to highest. If I change this instead of true to false, then you will get the other way around wherein you have the higher number, okay, uh, and then the lower, the higher number at first, and then going down. And if uh, accidentally, if this is the way that you want to do it, then it's fine. But if you're going to sort according to lowest to highest, then you will notice that names or headers or texts are usually considered as the higher value and therefore making this sorting a little bit incorrect. So unfortunately, uh, just like in Excel, there's no way that you can remove a range of cells when you're going to sort it this way. So I'm going to just not include okay, the column A. So I'm just going to stick with B4 to E5 in my sorting so that it doesn't include the names anymore. Now, the next thing though is, of course, let's say that, uh, of course, this changed the way that my data has been entered. So that means I have to sort of like bring it back to being horizontally oriented. So what we're going to do is we're going to enhance the formula again. So double click that formula. And whatever we did, this sorted version of the table, which is horizontal, will transpose once more. So if we transpose it back, okay, a second time around, then the transpose option will make it go from uh, um, horizontal sorry, from vertical going to horizontal. And now you see we have the transposed version of our uh, cell over here. 
So from here, I could just add the headers again by copy pasting. And now I have the transpose version. So unlike in Excel, it can sort the table itself. In Google Sheets, unfortunately, you will have to create another table, which is the sorted version of that table. And it is up to you if you want to sort of like copy this and paste it over the original table or just use this table for your report moving forward. And there you have it. Those are the two ways that you can perform sorting in Google Sheets and Excel okay, horizontally. Oh, by the way, before I forget, the procedure that we did over here, the one that um, <clears throat> use a formula, can also be done in Excel. And uh, there you have it. So now you've seen how to do that. And if ever this helped you, I hope you click the like and maybe the subscribe button. It will really help the channel uh, grow and create more videos for you. If ever you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and I'll try my best to answer as soon as I can. And that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one.